A typical absolute encoder is made of a gray or binary coded disk and a scanning head. The code disk is mounted on the encoder shaft and rotates. The number of tracks on the disk depends on the encoder resolution. An encoder with higher number of tracks offers a wider range of resolution. As you can see in this animation, Absolute encoders work by providing a unique digital code for each angular position of the shaft. It doesn't matter if the disk is moving or it's in a stationary state. With this mechanism, the encoder can provide the exact position information even after power has been lost and restored. As soon as the encoder is powered up and before any movement, the encoder can read and identify the position. That is the main advantage versus incremental encoders which can only report the travel distance, and all information is gone when the power loss happens. Some encoder manufacturers, like Heidenheim, offer an upgraded version of absolute encoders by adding an incremental flavor to it. An absolute encoder with an incremental track combines the feature of both absolute and incremental encoders. It has an absolute coding disk, like a regular absolute encoder, which provides a unique digital code for each angular position of the shaft. In addition, it also has an incremental track, similar to an incremental encoder, which provides a series of pulses as the shaft rotates. The incremental track that is offered in sine cos version can be used for precise speed measurement, while the absolute track provides an accurate absolute position reference for initialization and fault tolerance. By combining these two functions in one device, an absolute encoder with an incremental track provides a cost-effective solution for high dynamic motion control applications.